All right, we are live. Good morning. At this time, will sergeants please start their recordings? PC recording has started. Recording to the cloud, all set. Back up is rolling. Thank you. And Sergeant Jones, if you'd be able to start with your opening statement. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing on the Committee on Women and Gender Equity. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their videos? And to minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. And thank you for your cooperation. And Chair, we are ready to begin. Terrific. Thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon. I am Council Member Helen Rosenthal. My pronouns are she, her, hers, chair of the Committee on Women and Gender Equity. And for the record, I'd like to note that we are joined by Council Members Kozowitz, Ayala, Lander, Kalos, Majority Leader Kumbo. Thank you all for joining us today. Today, the committee will vote on two resolutions. Resolution number 923, which would declare the city council's support for S2243A654 sponsored by Senators Hoyleman and Assembly Member Pollen, which repeals penal law section 240.37, known as walking the walking while trans ban. Also resolution 1444A, which would call on the New York State Legislature to pass and the governor to sign a bill to amend the criminal procedure law to allow convictions for loitering for the purposes of engaging in prostitution events, penal law section 240.37 to be sealed and have the law apply retroactively. We are here today for a simple reason Penal law section 240.37, known widely as the ban on walking while trans, needs to go. The data related to um, penal law 240.37 is simple and paints the picture of a large systemic and racist problem. In 2018, more than 90% of the arrests involved trans women of color. We already know that trans women in New York City have been targeted for over four decades under this statute that is just too broad. And at last week's hearing on these two resolutions, we heard heartbreaking firsthand accounts of how this law has impacted our, fe our fellow New Yorkers. Available data reinforces the stories we have heard about the disproportionate and dire consequences we have seen that this law also disproportionately impacts immigrants and particularly trans immigrants. The majority of arrests under this statute occur in five police precincts, all predominantly black and brown, low-income immigrant neighborhoods. While a violation under 240.37 can bar individuals, um, sorry, uh, it's important to note that a violation under Section 240.37 can bar individuals from becoming a permanent resident or obtaining visas. Enough is enough. I commend Councilmember Rivera on these two important resolutions of which I'm a proud sponsor and want to thank the advocates for your tireless dedication, advocacy, and partnership. Before I turn to Billy Martin to call the roll on a vote, I would also like to thank my staff, Chief of Staff Cindy Cardinal, my Legislative Director Madhuri Shukla, as well as the committee staff for their work in preparing for this hearing. Brenda McKinney, Council, Chloe Rivera, Senior Policy Analyst, Monica Peppel, Finance Analyst, Elizabeth Arts from Community Engagement, and John Blasco, the, count, the Council's LGBTQ plus liaison. Billy, when you're ready, could you please call the roll? Sure. Good morning, everyone. Still morning, right? Yes. Yes. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on women and gender equity on resolutions 923 and 1444A. Items are coupled. Chair Rosenthal. I vote aye. Combo. I proudly vote aye, and I want to congratulate Helen Rosenthal on her leadership. Um, this is historic and certainly extraordinary. Thank you for your leadership and I proudly vote aye. 
Kalos. Uh, proud to be a sponsor, proud to be opening more homeless services in the neighborhood, and proudly vote I. Lander. With gratitude to the chair and to Council Member Rivera, I vote aye. Ayala. I vote aye. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Terrific. With that, I close this hearing to a, a close. Thank you very much.